I was trying to sing, sing along with Howard, and I just figured out I'm now too old to, like, hit those high notes. It's very depressing. Do you know Pearl and Michelle? You know Pearl and Michelle, right? And the feet goes on. Shadows. That's not my voice. It's something back here. I don't know. And the tear flows on for nothing. And the feet goes on. Shadows. And the tear flows on. And on and on and on and on and the tear, fear. Don't leave your pearl on the shell. That's the lesson of that song. And also, be sure you sing it before you lose the ability to hit the really high note, even in falsetto. Or do or drop into the the harmony. Shadow. If I seem not as uh, zombified as you would have expected, it's because it turns out I didn't have a 7.30 a.m. meeting this morning. I didn't figure it out until about five minutes before I was leaving when I checked the calendar and found it was empty. I thought, wow, that's got to be a mistake. And so I checked, but sure enough, no 7.30 meeting. There's a 7.30 meeting next week, but I won't be here, so I ain't waking up to call in from home and do that. Why did my phone just beep? Is someone trying to tell me something? Wow. Look at all this stuff I got. I've really been not paying attention to this phone. There's like alerts and icons and all sorts of junk. Look at that. It goes off the edge of the screen, there's so many. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to do it well enough to get YouTube to try to block this for, for using Howard, because it's not me, it's Howard. Ain't no chance, especially acapella. It's Thursday. I got in, uh, I don't know, after 10. So, like, that was a whole two hours, uh, extra hours of sleep, which is great. And then the first thing I did was, well, actually the first thing I did, I hadn't even walked in when my director was downstairs and letting me know that he had been made redundant, which is something that people with accents tell you to say that they've been laid off. Uh, he still has an Australian accent, despite the fact that he's been here a decade. But that's my boss's boss's boss. Uh, he was let go today. Also, my boss's boss was let go today, and he was one of my first bosses. So, uh, well, not my first boss, but my first boss as a writer five years ago. And I don't know, letting these guys go, I mean, I, I kind of, I, I see what they're doing. They're trying to do this. But usually when you do this, you just end up sticking new people into those slots. And you might as well keep the people that have been here forever and know the stuff. I don't know. That's why I don't make the big bucks. Thankfully, I wasn't let go, so I'm still here. I'm hoping that over the next two weeks, they figure out that I actually do important stuff and that they miss me when I'm not here. But not so much that they feel they need to have somebody to back me up and also do my job. It's a delicate situation. I've told you the story. There were three writers in our group. Uh, and I actually replaced the first writer who left. So I was the fourth writer, the second, third writer. And over the past almost five years, 
It's gone from three writers to two, back to three, back to two, to just me. And my coworker, Steve, who was the, the old man, ended up doing like a project manager gig. Hi, Steve, if you're watching, you're not. So he's still with the company and doing very important work for our appliances team, but it left me as the only net backup support writer which is good and bad, mostly good. But when I'm gone and there really isn't anybody to back me up, if something happens that's so important that it demands a software alert, they're, it's just going to have to wait until after Labor Day probably. Can I tell you this or is this a state secret? The truth is they could probably slot someone in in a pinch if they had to, but it would be more likely that they would just call me at home and I would just do the work. Keep that under your hat, though. I don't want anybody to know that I would actually work during my vacation, which is really a staycation. But that's really the best because I don't have to drive any more than I want to. Mm. I was going to wait and finish my 999 excellent uh, V8 before I had my caffeine. It kind of shows you how distracted I've been. Usually I have this several hours ago. Aren't I a good boy? And it's low sodium too. Just so many vegetables since I bought that pallet of V8. It counts as vegetables, right? It's probably better for me more nutritional than that iceberg lettuce salad I always make, which probably has no nutrients at all. It may keep me pooping, though. I don't know. Have I told you it's Thursday? It's now 6 p.m. on the dot. I heard a beep beep. This watch is fast. It's about 20 seconds fast. I really should set it. 69 degrees. I don't even think it's hit 70 today. It rained last night, but not as much as I said it was going to rain. But it's just been kind of lingering and cloudy and gray and cold. Well, cool, cold. Or a weather bug was lying and it's really 84. That's a little more believable. Which would make 84 the high of the day. Nope, 68. Make up your mind, weather bug. Weather bug now says the high of the day is 74. So sometime today it was 74. It could have been 74 at midnight. That's the kind of weirdness we have with the weather. <clears throat> Pardon me. But it's 68 right now, and gray, lots of clouds. Actually quite beautiful and Instagram-worthy, but I know a lot of people on Instagram which are like, if I see one more friggin' picture of clouds, I am going to shoot up a post office. That probably just flagged an NSA thing somewhere, and someone will have to sit and watch this video and make sure that I'm not making threats. I'm not. And hello to the NSA, where I hope to be employed someday. See, eight and a half minutes, and I haven't even gotten to the thing I was going to talk about. I left a couple of comments on Facebook outside of this process because I don't get a lot of action on these videos on Facebook. Keep that under your hat. But uh, I left uh, a new cover picture, which was a photo taken of Kim and I at a party last week. Excellent party and an excellent photo, I thought. And I also posted a story about holding the door open at the post office for somebody. The thing I noticed about both of these things is that I got... Six likes, all female, and then one dude who, like, didn't realize that they were going to be the sole dude amongst the females. One was Austin, who allegedly is male, although I've never seen him and can't prove that to be sure. The other one was Pie Man, who I, again, assume to be male, although not having any hard evidence. It's interesting, though. I'm not sure what to take out of that. Uh, you know, I've never been such a big ladies' man, but it appears that the stuff that I say resonates, resonates more with women, or I've spent way too much time friending women and not making any male friends, which is possible because I tend to glom onto my wife's friends and be their friends, and she doesn't have a lot of male friends either. Something to think about for later, because I'm out of time now. So we'll close up the week tomorrow. I will have already mentally checked out for my vacation, so it should be a good one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.